Greetings family, Bomani Tamba here with Live on Revolutionary Camp and family I'm here with my good brother uh, Baka and uh, he is getting ready to travel with us to Tanzania on a journey for a lifetime this November and we just finished our uh, knockout uh, his visas for Tanzania and Ghana but also we're having uh, some incredible conversations so my brother want to talk about relationships so you know, we're going to get right into it and talk about relationships so my good brother uh, what specifically you want to talk about as far as relationships and you can just well yes um i don't know um i was just talking to brother bomani and i was telling him that uh, it's nothing like an african woman you know um, i dated a sister from the gambia and i also dated a sister from uh ghana so nothing like an african woman man and they really cater to you and Man, I'm just looking forward to getting back over to the continent and uh, networking with my African sisters and, you know, eventually um, probably even marrying, you know, um, an African woman. So that's something that I, that's been on my mind for quite some time. And, uh, you know, I was breaking bread with this brother and just letting him know that um, they're very nurturing. Um, they really look out for the man and um it's just it's a beautiful thing and uh, our women are most beautiful women on the planet you know i'm one of those brothers that date exclusively black and black women and um i love our african sisters and i'm really looking forward to getting over to tanzania and uh doing some networking um and definitely enjoying our beautiful African sisters. Yes, sir, brother. All right, perfect, brother. So you're going to be in East and West Africa, Tanzania and Ghana. Yes, sir. Yes, so sir. So you have a whole lot of flavors to uh, <laughs> uh, select and connect with. You know, if that's yes, what sir. you're looking for, in, or yes, sir. any of the other brothers uh, or sister, you know, if that's what you're looking for, you know, you're talking about um, you know, a black continent. You're talking about uh, the highest percentage of you know, available men and women as far as relationships, right? They're on a mother continent. Uh, so, you know, you can just think about that. Not telling people what to do or anything, and not, or not telling uh, people that there's no good women or no good men in uh, America. Because sometimes people roll up on me and we're talking, and next you know, you know, you, you hear this conversation from both men and women. I'm not going to be biased, uh, but as a man, you know, you talk from the perspective of just you know what uh, women say sometimes that uh, there's no good brothers and things like that. And so I usually just joke about those things uh, because um, our mindset has to change. But if we really do feel that way, you know, then you know we have our we have the rest of our pan-african world because you, know? you know we don't promote swirling and um, you know and a whole bunch of those other mixes and things like that you know we're trying to keep our culture strong as possible and so in that essence you know it's black man women and children you know the trinity the foundation you know and that's the only way we see those things and then we're talking about you know men and women working together to build civilization so you know we have to get our game up and everything and so, fam, we're going to do this strong. And no, family, we're not passport bros. You know what I'm saying? Uh, we are, you know, we're international businessmen, um, brothers, black men, that's connecting to Africa so we can build a future. You know, it's not getting up, going to Africa and chasing women and things like that. Because whenever I have these conversations with my brothers and, you know, and talking about us going to Africa and doing things, the first thing people start, you know, with, with their comments in the chat and things like that, as far as just, yeah, these guys are, that's what they, they're doing, you know, and, you know, why every time you see a black man traveling, uh, it has to be about that, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> exactly, exactly. <laughs> you know? but, uh, but nevertheless, though, my brother is still here talking about our uh, relationships and things like that. So, uh, based on his, uh, you know, based on what he's telling you, family, he's basically saying that he loved the energy from some of the sisters in Africa. So, that's a beautiful thing, yes. you know, as long as brothers tell me that they, you know, you know whether it's a sister in America, you know, Africa or wherever else, as long as they tell me it's a sister, you know, to me right. personally, it don't matter where. Right. And, I'm, and I'm always telling people that, you know, people ask me about what's your preference of women and things like that. I was like, you know, if she, she's a Jamaican sister, it's perfect. If right. she's an, right. an American sister, perfect. Right. If she's a sister from Ghana or, you know, Nigeria, perfect. Right. You know what I'm saying? It's about as long as we can connect and build something for our future together. That's, right. to me, that's what matters. And now we're in a world more, of a diverse world of just black people. So, you go somewhere, you may meet just black folks from all over the place, you know, and you may connect with someone in a, on a different continent and in a right. different country, you know, and people like myself as a, you know, naval sailor, you know, you've been around the world and, you know, and, you know, 
you you know you connect with international relationships because you're out places and you meet people. Uh, so when people see these things, like man, how could you, you know, you, you know, like one of our brothers that was traveling me um in the, in the navy, and I was like, wow, you have an Australian wife, you know, it was a sister, it was a, you know, this was a real brother, and he had a real sister in Australia. So then people may have been thinking that it was a white woman. I was like, nah, you know, why it's always got to be like that? <laughs> you think that's all? You think that's all men, you know? Men, you know, chases this now, but. You know, it's so it's one of those things where you know, I tell people if you know if you just on the block and you never been anywhere, not looking to go anywhere, that's fine, that's your thing. But if you're gonna open yourself up to this international world, we're just letting people know that the possibilities are incredible. As far as you even living somewhere else, you know, we have people living all over the Caribbean islands, right? You know, from America, right? You know, and you know, and you know, so we have to step our game up, family. And but the most important part about stepping our game up is you know. We have to build it with a level of dignity. Don't be out there looking all thirsty and hungry. You know, we, you know, you're drooling. You know, you go in place. You got your camera, and you're just drooling over every little fine, little fine thing that you see in a swimwear. Right. Like some of them wouldn't right. be able to handle right. countries like Ghana because right. you're in Ghana, right. and you're seeing sophisticated, fine, beautiful sisters oh, going yeah. to their offices, oh, yeah. oh, going yeah. to work, and oh, you know, yeah. you all seem dressed up in dresses and skirts. Now, right. You're not saying anything about women who wear jeans or anything, but you know, you. Prefer to see women in their their beauty elements of the sophistication and class, yes. and that's what I love about you know like when you talk about you know, say example some sisters from uh, maybe Nigeria or Ghana oh yeah, oh, yeah. Or, or, or Ghana Tanzania. you know what I'm saying or Ghana <laughs> or and Ghana. that's what you see uh, so and when you know once again you know when we do these videos it's always tricky because one time I had a good brother that came out from Brazil and and <laughs> we was having a conversation and man, man brother by the time I finished the video. I look in the comments, man, they were, it was just a whole bunch of mad, angry trolls. Oh, no. Because he was talking about oh, how, no. you know, he was talking about how, how straight her hair was or how long her hair was and how brown she was. Mm. You know, and I, so I tell brothers, you know, just like, if you're going to get in a conversation, you just be prepared. Right. You know what I'm saying? But the most important thing is to always just you know, show our sisters love. Let, don't, let them feel like, you know, that's what we're doing. You know, we just don't feel them and we're going somewhere else. Right. But some people do, you know. Some people do need to connect with the international world. I mean, especially if you're in that world and that life. You know, people like myself, I've been <laughs> traveling the globe and moving around since I yes. was like 18 years old. Yes. So, you know, so you ask me, what, what kind of women have you had a relationship with? You know, I tell them I have sisters in this country, that country. And it's, so it's not just like here in Georgia where you are because, you know. Right. So it's, it's, it's a different life. And for those who, you know, haven't been out there to the elements, and, you know, and you just you know, a usual suspect in America, you know, you're doing your usual thing, it's it's fine, but it's like, you know, you may not understand the world that we're coming from, right. you know, but, you know, it's um, it's an incredible world of our people, and that's why we promote travel, tourism, us connecting to Africa, us doing business with each other, and the most important thing, us building black relationships with each other, you know, to me, that's just the key always, uh, you know, uh, for those who want to swirl or, you know, get with, you know, get with, you know, get with some of these Asian women and things, you know, that's your business. I'm not here to not also and things like that. But, you know what I mean? We don't roll with you like that. You know what I'm saying? So the brothers that roll with, you know, you have to have your, have your game up strong, you know. You know, especially my real brothers that we're rolling together, you know. You know, if I come to your house, you know, it has to be what it is. Yes. You know, yes. you, know you have to be you know, engaged and be around and connecting to, you know, black people. Uh, because we've seen every other nation and race of people focus on themselves. And focus on how you know, people just intermarry, right. and in, you know, or you know, they just put their exactly. enterprise together, and you know, it's all for for their version of nation building and world right. dominance or whatever. Right. So it's like, what is our game? Right. You know, so when you talk about love and relationships, we tell them folks like family. Don't I don't want to hear that stuff about oh, you know, there's no good brothers and there's no good sisters around because you know you're breaking my heart whenever I say that. You know what I'm saying so I'm always telling people, hey, why don't you just get on a jet plane with me and I'll show you tropical beauty in different countries. You know, whether you're coming to Jamaica with us or you're coming to Ghana or you're coming you know, to South Africa or, you know, one of those one of those other incredible African countries, like you know, out there far east in Tanzania, enjoying tropical paradise on Zanzibar Island. That's right. That's right. right. <laughs> or Lagos, Nigeria. You know? A lot of beautiful sisters there too. So, you know, exactly. There's plenty of beautiful black people all over the world and don't get it twisted. It's a lot of beautiful sisters right here in Georgia as well. So I want to give them a shout out too. You know, don't want to exclude them. You know, but uh, yes, um, 
They're Africa. gonna say if we're all if we're so beautiful, why are you running away from us? <laughs> why are you fleeing? Well, why are you fleeing to Nigeria to well, get your Nigerian we're, wife? We're not we're not <laughs> running away, but you have to understand Africa is our home. That's our land. We were stolen from Africa and brought here. So we're just going home. So we just have options. So you know, so that's how that goes. You know, the most high has opened up the door for us to go home now. And that's what we're doing. So we can't, um, we cannot, <laughs> you know, go home. But uh, we're going to enjoy what we have here and we're going to enjoy what we have abroad because that's what we have available to us. So that's what we're going to do. So that's a good thing. Well, people mm -hmm. are listening to you and they may just want to know, hey, you talk so much about, you know, sisters in Africa. And so they're going to want to know what's so special. Did, you know, did, 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 you know, do they have some kind of magical panani or something like that? That, that got you open, <laughs> that, got, got, that got you open, that's <laughs> something, no, you like know, talk to us man, tell us the real you deal. You know what brother, <laughs> it, you know what man, it's just, you know, um, I like the personalities, I like the way they just cater to the man, I love that, you know, so like I said, I dated, you know, a Ghanaian sister, All right. and she just catered to my needs, you know, wow, that's it, what's was, up. it was incredible, All right. so, um, I got used to that treatment, and uh, you know, for me personally, that's what I'm gonna have. I'm gonna have a woman that caters to me, my needs, and you know, we're gonna cater to each other. You know, so that's what it's all about. And like this brother said, I just need a woman that's going to build with me. You know, so as long as we can build together, it's all good. So yeah, there you go, family. We're here live with uh, Baka. Thomas, our good brother, traveling to Ghana and Tanzania with us and family. He is ready, you know, we've been talking, building the energy. And, uh, you know, it seems like he's, uh, you know, he's ready to go to both countries and get him a wife, one in East Africa and one in West Africa. Well, you know, brother, uh, <laughs> <laughs> you know, um, hey, I, I just got to throw this out there. I just had uh, a DNA de test done and you can see my shirt. Uh, Nigeria. Right. So uh, my father's lineage is from Nigeria and they're known to have multiple wives. You know, I'm not saying that's what I'm going to do, but that is our culture. So I'm just going to put that out there. You know, you can run with it if you want to, but it is our culture. And that's something that, uh, you know, uh, our people are doing <laughs> and have done in the past, you know, so it is what it is. So, hey. There you go, man. One of my good brothers may say, you know, might uh, tell you, hey, more, wo more women, more problems. <laughs> so, 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 they, so, you know, my, my homies always ask me, like, hey, you know, he's going to ask you, like, how you deal with all of these things and problems and things like that. Well, I don't know. And, and, but I'm going to flip it. Some brothers may say more women, less problems. So <laughs> I'm going to I'm going to flip it, you know. So, hey, you know, it just depends on, you know, your flavor. And uh, hey. Like I said, um, I'm going to enjoy Africa one way or the other. And we both know this, brother. The most beautiful sisters in the world, you know, are on the continent of Africa. So it is what it is. So um, I'm going to go explore and uh, see what I can see and uh, just enjoy life and enjoy our people. And most importantly, enjoy our women, brother, because that's what... Father Yah put them here for for us to enjoy and that's what I plan on doing so you know people gonna be tagging this video like look, look at these passport bros <laughs> <laughs> that's what gonna be saying well, all based on what you've been saying <laughs> oh, man. hey it's all good you know hey I gotta do me so it's all good you hey, know family, hey in this era you know it's important uh for, you know, especially in this weird world that we live in, it's important, you know, when you hear men talking about loving women and being with women. Very important. Very important because uh, that's not always a conversation nowadays. You know, it'd be some stuff that goes left and further left, uh, which is confusion. Uh, so we're not down with that. But, uh, yes, I'm always telling my brothers, um, if it's just not enough warriors around, you know, then, you know, then you should be able to have additional. You just got to be able to manage and operate you know in accord and make it work so you know the more the merrier for some people you know and uh, you know and you know i wish them all the best also you know you know, you know so 
we're gonna, we're gonna keep it strong, family. So th this is the conversation, family. We're talking about relationships with our good brother, and he's telling you that he's gonna head to Nigeria, you know, and get him a, a one of them fine Nigerian supermodels. You ever seen one of them fine Nigerian supermodels? Oh yeah, definitely. You know definitely. Got, got definitely. everything that's you know, body, beauty, flavor, style, oh, yeah. and everything. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, oh yeah. You see, you see them make make you make you. Make you know, make you, you know, make you want to lose your religion. <laughs> <laughs> well, brother, you know, it's like I, I want to do more than just get one, man. I want a wife. I want to get me. I'm going to have me a wife soon. So I was married family? before, you know, 10 years. It was a beautiful thing. Unfortunately, you know, we parted ways. But my my next move is to get me uh, an African wife. Um, so that's what I'm looking forward to here in the near future um so and it's there for us you know it's there for us so um i'm going to uh explore that and <laughs> um like i said i just thank father yah for opening up the door to the diaspora again our brothers and sisters are welcoming us home on the continent now so it's our time it's our time and that's what we have to really look at as um, brothers from the diaspora, we do have more than just America now to um, you know choose from as far as options, even when it comes to dating women now. So that's just something that we just have to you know look at and see it for what it, it really is now. Um, we have options, so I'm gonna leave it at that. <laughs> Absolutely, family. It, it, yes. My brother trying to talk very careful and anything. And that, <laughs> that, 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 that's fine. So, you know, I did right. a video a, a right. while back, and I was talking about some of the finest women in Africa, and some people didn't like some of the countries I named. But you know, mm -hmm. I, I, I named those countries, and it's, it's all good. Uh, and I named the Ghana, Ethiopia, and Nigeria. You know, and those are the countries that I named. Um, you know, Man. and it's mm. you know, and you know, some people ask you, how do you know all these things? You know, so, you, know you tell them, well, you know. You travel, you know, travel around the globe, and uh, you know you have, you know, you have seen greener pastures. Yes, 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 yes. yes. <laughs> and uh, you have uh, experienced life, and you have, you know, you talk, learn, and connect with people. Um, and you know, one of the people I was trying to get us to connect together as a people, you know, and uh, you know, the the divisions is just what's ruining us. You know, uh, you know, that's why I'm always telling people, you know, I'm trying to connect and build with the best of us. You know, so if you're talking about um, you know, the wives of Bomani, you, know, you want to have the best <laughs> wives, you want to have the best situation, you want to have a you know, situation where you can build a real you know, black economic, black corporate economic power, black power, black nation building, you know, build it to where you know, you're building a future to where we are, well, you know, we'll literally have something. You know, so instead of you having situations where you, know, you have a community and then half of the women don't have men, you, know, you may have to figure other things out. Uh, so these are the things that you have to think about, you know, when you're just in communal operation, what are you really going to do? You know, some, you know, some, you know, some men are weak to where, you know, they won't even be a factor, mm. you know. As a matter of fact, mm. I think in some places they just castrate them and put them out in the fields <laughs> and, let, and, 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 let, and let the warrior reproduce. Right. We don't need the, you know, we don't need, we don't need some, you know, some people don't need to be producing. You know, we need the strongest and the best of our people. So... You know, when we go back to communal, community living and going back to these essence of these things, everybody's responsible for contributing. Yes, yes, you know, yes, yes. You know, which makes it a productive society. Yes. You know what I'm saying? If you have a man out there having children with, you know, have, you know, have five, baby, five baby mamas and seven, eight children, and then, you know, he's, the women are working, but he's only playing around. That's not any kind of leadership. That's not anything that we could build from. So I'm telling people, stop. The, don't punish the brothers that are warriors. Reward them, you know what I'm saying. Reward them, um, and empower, <laughs> empower them, and encourage them. Uh, so uh, they can be, you know. So instead of having children without fathers, you know, you have a whole community of children with fathers, with, with men of vision, men of strength and power, men who are about the the direction of just making sure that uh, we know we can enterprise, you know. Uh, so. That's what we are, you know, when we talk about Africa for the Africans or Black Star Pan-African community or, you know, Bomani technology, all the business, all the things that you put your energy into is for your family. Right. You know? Right, right. Um, right. You know, like I think about, you know, my son, I think about 
my nieces, my nephews, I think about my cousins and the rest of my family, I think about, all right, so some of us have to think about what are we going to build for the future, you know, so, and then, you know, in that situation, you know, you need a good warrior sister with you, you know, whether it's one or if you can, you know, you're multi-talented or multi-genius, then multiple is a situation, you know, so, <laughs> you know, family, here we're, you know, we're here talking about, you know, uh, you know, relationships, but more so now polygamy with our good brother Thomas Abaka, because he's ready to build a tribe of Baka. And you, and you know, you can't even really call it <laughs> polygamy. I mean, that's European. That's a European, um, you know, <clears throat> state of mind. You know, um, I look at it like this. You know, um, we had multiple li multiple wives. I'm talking about our African ancestors way back. So that's like a European thing, polygamy. I'm going to say multiple wives. And like I said uh, before, um, that's our culture. I believe we have a culture that also, um, you know, just not only goes back to um, a simpler time, but even, you know, biblical. So if you look in, you know, the scripts, we, you know, our ancestors had, four or five wives, you know, even Solomon, you know, he had 700 wives, 300 concubines. So that wasn't polygamy. That was just our culture. So that's something that, you know, as, you know, a black man, you know, um, that's something that we've had. And then when we were brought here, they made it seem like, you know, um, that, you know, they gave it you know, polygamy and that kind of thing. So I don't really like to use that. I'll just say, you know, our culture says that, you know, um, we've had more than one wife, you know, um, and uh, if that's something that, you know, um, I guess they say if you can afford them, it's okay. You know, if you can afford, <laughs> you know, go. multiple wives, you can have them, you know, so in the African culture, but um, yeah, so okay, yeah. that's that's basically my take on it. But um, you know, I look at it like this: is as long as you can find that woman that is going to be there for you, that's going to be ready to build with you, then you're going to be okay. You know, and that's what time it is now. So you know, um, and of course, you know, um, everybody's different. But me personally, that's what I want. I want a woman that is going to build with me and we come together and just take it to a, another level. Yep. So that's that's how I feel. That's beautiful, brother. That is a beautiful explanation. And family, so it is about responsibility and accountability. So if you're not uh, with that program, then you don't want to get yourself involved in it because, uh, you know, Nation building deals with a whole lot of responsibility, you know, so, you know, family, so, you know, we reserve the nation building and, the, you know, the aspects of these wonderful things for the warriors, you know what I'm saying? Empower the warriors, keep them strong and let them pass on their warrior genes and legacy uh, for generations to come. The strongest of us must, you know, you know, procreate, you know, and then some of us may just have to do something else. Yeah. And, yeah, but that's our real, so family. Once again, I uh, here to talk about relationships with my good brother, uh, Thomas Baca, as he's getting ready and he's excited about going to Ghana and Tanzania. Um, I'm sure he's going to get about several proposals in both countries. <laughs> I'll say that he's going to get a whole lot more in Ghana. And if he goes to Nigeria, he's definitely going to get a whole lot more in Nigeria. You know, you know what I'm saying? They're they, they waiting for him. You know? Oh, yeah. You know? so, oh, yeah. So it's, oh, it's yeah. a beautiful thing being a, you know, being a black man when you, know, you go places and you have wonderful women who just ready for you. They're ready for you, oh, you know? yeah. and that's how we're gonna build black, uh, you know, black power, black relationships, to where, you know, we show the rest of our world that you know we as a people can come together and be together. Uh, so when you're on our website and you see all the beautiful pictures of uh, all of us, all you see is this beautiful black people connecting together, networking together, a sense of brother and sisterly uh, love, and also a sense of just black men and black women. As you know, you see beautiful pictures of men and women. You know, and try to empower and encourage our generation right. to, you know, you know, to build that connection. 
you know, I, I can't tell folks uh, what to do and things like that, but if you're going to build energy in a uh, pan-African world family, it has to be a situation where uh, beautiful sisters, you know, growing up, they know that, you know what I mean, that, uh, you know, that brothers are going to want them. And it's a serious situation, you know. Uh, so let's keep it strong, let's keep it together, and let's keep it, you know, moving on and open your minds, especially our brothers who are... You know, looking to build that real family. You know, if, yeah, if it hasn't worked out for you in uh, whatever country you're in, you know, think about uh, international exploring, not passport growing. I'm talking about international <laughs> movements. You know what I mean? It's a difference because some people are like, well, them guys sound like some passport brothers. And I'm talking about nation building and, and black power and, and, and you know, African liberation and, and us doing black cooperative economics. Not talking about going to run around some place chasing, looking for some light-skinned women with long hair or some Asian women and things like that. You know, that's not our style. You know what I mean? And for those who know us, you know, I tell them, look at our website, look at our Facebook, our Instagram, and you'll see about our life. Look up, you know, catch us somewhere out in public and you'll see. And you're going to see us, you know, you know, you're going to see us with no snowflakes, you know. No snow bunnies, as you know, when your homies call them. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna see us with real authentic, beautiful, tropical women. You know what I mean? Yes, yes, yes. Most definitely, most definitely. So yeah, that that's what it's all about. You know, um, us coming together, us networking together, and uh, just black love, black unity. That's what it's all about. So. If you're not on that page, I feel sorry for you. But um, hey, that's 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 what it's all about now, and um, it's all about us coming together. Oh, know? perfect, perfect. So, brother, let's close on this one and uh, let's uh, let the ladies know your phone number and email address. <laughs> I can't so, do that, brother. So they can can't call that, you brother. and they can text and email you and submit uh, a resume <laughs> slash application. I uh, can't, can't do that, brother. But, you know, um, hey, there's, there's, there's going to be so many. There's so many uh, <laughs> beautiful women in Africa. So, you know, um, I'm going to be traveling abroad here real soon. So, you know, um, I'll have plenty of opportunities then. And, you know, uh, other than you, that, I'll, everything I'll is good. I hope you can handle it. You know, some men, some men lose their minds. Oh, yeah, I can handle it. I remember first just bringing a bunch of different you know, brothers to the African continent. Some of them lost their minds. You know, right. I don't sound like, I was like, hey, you know what? Right. Slow down, slow down, you know? You're moving too fast. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, you can move, it, you can move as fast as you think you're going to move. You know, you still won't tap the surface. Yeah. <laughs> you know, you know <laughs> I look at it like this, you know, it's our, that's our lineage. You know, our lineage is, you know, um, King Solomon, King David. Those are, are those were black men. So, um, and specifically, that's our, that's our lineage. That's our bloodline. So, you know, um, it's in us. So the whole Kill it's King Solomon is real. It's serious. It, it is real. It's, yeah. it, it is real. Break it down for people because, you know, you know, you hear about these things on songs and oh, poems yeah. and things like oh, that. Yeah. But break oh, down yeah. the, the, the true history of that, that well, movement. Well, basically, you know, like I said, I trace my lineage back to um, Nigeria. But, um, you know, I know the Ibu. Uh, their lineage traces back to um, Africa, East Africa, you know, Jerusalem, you know, all that good stuff. So um, those are my people. That's my bloodline. And a lot of those brothers are Jews, black Jews. So um, and a lot of them claim history too: King David, King Solomon. So that's our lineage. And, we, you know, you can look in um, the scriptures. I believe it's First Kings. It talks about all the wives that King Solomon had. And then he even gives a description of himself. You know, he says he's black and beautiful. You know, so those were black people. You know, um, man, it gets real deep, you know, and I could get even deeper on it. But um, I won't do that at this time. But I will say that's our lineage and I believe um, when we migrated down into West Africa we kept those traditions and even in the Nigerian culture and history they have an oral tradition a lot of the tribes um, you know giving you know uh, a testament to migrating from uh, East Africa or 
Jerusalem down into West Africa, Nigeria, Ghana, um, Sierra Leone, so on and so forth. So we are those people. That's our lineage. That's why you see a lot of the African brothers that have the money in Africa, they have um, more than one wife. It's biblical, but, um, you know, so I just have to, you know, take advantage mm -hmm. of <laughs> what we've been given, what we've been given. <laughs> so I'm going to leave it there, you know, but um, it's a beautiful thing. So brothers, I'll just say this. Um, please travel to the continent of Africa and just explore um, and you will not be dissatisfied. You will not. Absolutely. So, you know, instead of you going to the Asian countries, <laughs> come to the African nation family. You know, come and enjoy paradise and enjoy beauty and let's build beautiful black families together. Yes, yes. Yes, 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 And yes. if you're into the multiple, hey, you know what I mean? You can uh, exercise your rights to live that way. Yeah, and it's all good. And if you, you know, choose to do something else, it is all good. You know? you know? now, some men can handle it, some men can't. You know? Some men have you know, certain problems and some men don't. So yes, yeah, so family, uh, we're definitely going to connect into more of this as we're going to get ready to start up back on some serious, beautiful relationship conversations, especially during my next few, few ventures to Senegal, Gambia, and uh, you know, Ghana. Definitely going to just do more of those and maybe I'll just go around you know, you know, to the streets and things like that, and just you know, see what the the sisters think about uh, you know brothers like me and you coming to the African continent <laughs> on business and doing certain things and oh, yeah. see if we know we you know see if we are, we're husband materials for them. Oh yeah, you know, oh yeah, they, they oh, get yeah. into those real conversation. Oh yeah, so you know, you know people know me. You know, we we literally just go around and just you know, it's, you know, it's always about fun and excitement and just right. you, know, you know, and then the key thing is always gonna be networking because. Right. You're, you're finding ways to how you can connect and learn more about each other as the people, whether we're here in America right. or we're somewhere else in another country. Right. Uh, so, so family, the journey definitely continues and we're going to keep you posted. And uh, if we have a whole lot to show and share with you, uh, we already have lots of our videos from Tanzania and Ghana, the last journey up. And as we get ready to go to these two back-to-back -back, uh, journeys, uh, three countries total, uh, we have a whole lot more to share with you. Uh, so process, share. And, um, you know, we'll see you on one of these journeys. You know, so, family, keep it strong. And the journey continues. Appreciate you and my brother. Thank you, brother. And we're going to hit you with another one of these conversations. You know, a few more parts. So, take care, family. Peace.